Welcome to Jesus Christ Prison Ministry and another video Bible study. Our topic, the book of John, the prayer, part eight. Based on John 16, verses 23 through 24. In that day, you will ask nothing of me. Truly, truly, I say to you, Whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. I was talking to the Lord about our need here at the ministry for a groundskeeper. I was talking to him about the cost and how to go about it. He told me to wait. Back in 2008, an inmate by the name of Joe was paroled from a Texas prison. He was about 80 years of age at that time. He had been in prison for quite some time. During that time, he had received the book, Change Your Life Biblically, along with our monthly newsletters. We kept up a correspondence that continued after his parole. Even though he lived off his social security, he always seemed to find a way to send ties to the ministry. I was amazed at his determination to support the ministry in his hardship. He moved in with his brother and his wife for a few years, and then in May of 2017, he told me that the house was being sold and he would not be able to find any place to live. He would be a homeless veteran. I thought about it and invited him to come to the ministry. I knew nothing about him, but the Spirit of God seemed to be impressing me in that direction. He consented, and by the 1st of July, he arrived. I put him up in our laundromat. There isn't any room in the house for the washer and dryer, so they reside in a shed. He was now 87 years of age, and I was not sure what I would be getting into. Would he be a vegetable that would need a lot of attention? How could I handle that? Would he be cooperative? Well, I built a little bungalow for him and gave him work that brought dignity to him. It didn't take but a couple of days for me to find out his capabilities. At the time, I jogged every morning and yet I could hardly keep up to his power walk. Next, he was fixing the watering system to the trees, digging around the trees and helping me prune them. Then he was moving a mountain of dirt that had piled up in the corners of the fence. He became a great groundskeeper. The point is, God answered my prayer, but instead of the ministry having to pay for a groundskeeper, Joe loves the ministry, and he puts all his social security and VA disability into the ministry. That has helped the ministry very, very much. Plus, he is right there by my side, helping me print newsletters, books, and the initials we send to inmates. One big help was his ability to proofread the newsletters before they went out. He has been a big help to the ministry. The interesting part is, he came to the ministry with many physical defects and problems. A few months before coming to this ministry, this little man that barely reaches above five feet weighed over 185 pounds. The VA doctor explained that he needed to take a lot of pills, including medication for diabetes. However, I suggested he wait six months. The next time we went back, the doctor could not believe Joe was the same person. He is 93 years old now and has the health of a 50-year-old and takes no medication. God's promises are truly believable when we live in obedience to Him. I have noticed over the years the blessings that are bestowed on those who love, support, promote, and live by the teachings of this ministry. When we live in obedience to Jesus and his teachings, to be perfect, 
stop sinning, and to keep the Ten Commandments to get our eternal life. We can ask anything, and He will give it to us. Until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive that your joy may be full. John received the book Change Your Life Biblically as he was paroling from prison. He had spent 15 straight years in prison. He laid the CYLB book down when he got home and began looking for work. For four years he searched, hunted, and applied for work. Nothing happened. His life was going nowhere. Then one day he rediscovered the CYLB book and began reading it. He decided to be obedient to it. Shortly after, he had a job, and after a few job moves and prayers, the Lord led him to the job he loves. He looks forward to it every day. It satisfies his life. The owners of the company he works for love him dearly. They do all they can to give him what he wants. From the time he started living in obedience to CYLB, he has been sending 20% of his income as tithes and offerings to the ministry. We put him on the board of directors as sec secretary treasurer. He still holds that position. He loves the ministry and will do everything possible to support it, promote it, and share it. God has blessed his life beyond his wildest dreams. When I went into the hospital for surgery, there was no one who could keep the ministry running. John explained to his employer that he had to go to the ministry. John lives in Missouri. He drove to California and stayed until the ministry was stabilized and then returned home. He expected to be fired. Instead, his employer gave him three checks and a pay raise. I pray that each of you find the love of Jesus in your heart to live in obedience to him. Thank you for joining JCPM and Jesus Christ for another video Bible study.